top five programming languages for you to learn in 2023 to get a job without needing a college degree. Now, I do these videos every few years and they get millions of views and you guys seem to love them. So here we go again. We're gonna be ranking these languages on three main factors. Number one, the time it takes even for an absolute beginner to learn and build real world projects. Number two, salary and the demand for this programming language. Number three, the productivity or the development cost and time. So let's just get straight into it. Number five, Java. So object-oriented programming language is best known for Android application development. So anytime you see an Android and there are apps on there, you know that they were built with Java. Java is used on over 3 billion devices worldwide, including mobile phones, tablets, laptops, and desktops. Java has a large and active community of over 9 million developers. If you ever need help or you're lost, you'll always be able to find help. Java is also known for its write once, run everywhere philosophy, which essentially means any machine that has a Java virtual machine installed on there can run Java. The one con I would say with Java is that learning curve is harder. You have to learn classes. You have to learn object-oriented programming. My personal opinion is functional programming is much easier to learn and it's the way moving forward. So if you're a complete beginner, it'll take you longer to learn Java than other programming languages. And the average salary of a Java developer is $107,000 per year. Number four, Swift. Swift is best known for building iOS or iPhone applications. So when you think anything Apple, MacBook, a iMac, a iPad, an iPhone, all of those devices, the apps that are built on them are built using the programming language called Swift. So if you've ever wanted to be in the app store and have your apps and be able to make recurring income from the apps and you want it to ever be a mobile developer or a mobile game developer or whatnot, Swift is a programming language that you're looking for when it comes to the iPhone world. Games like Clash of Clans or Angry Angry Birds, Flappy Bird, all of those famous games that you might have played on an iPhone, those were made with Swift. Swift is used by some of the biggest companies in the world. For example, Uber, the app that you know, Lyft, Facebook, Instagram, Airbnb, or LinkedIn, all of those apps that are on your devices, they're built with Swift. Con is, I would say, a bit similar to Java, where it is a little bit more difficult for a complete, absolute beginner to learn because now you have mobile development involved. The average salary of a Swift developer is $119,000 per year, according to ZipRecruiter. Number three, Solidity. It's best used and known for the ability to develop on the blockchain, being able to make smart contract or dApps, which stand for decentralized applications. Some of the biggest companies in the world are using Solidity. For example, Twitter is using it for their NFT functionality. So you could actually add an NFT as your profile picture. Coinbase uses it. OpenSea is using it to be able to buy or sell or auction your NFTs. And Reddit is also using Solidity. You use Solidity to primarily write code or write apps on the Ethereum blockchain. The programming syntax of this programming language is similar to that of Java, where it is mostly an object-oriented programming language. A funny story I just want to share with you. One of my friends, Nas, he has experience doing software development for multiple years, so I want to add that disclaimer in there. But he switched over, spent a couple of months learning Solidity, and then he actually ended up starting to make twenty to $30,000 a month landing clients for whom he would build projects using Solidity. So the salary you could make with it is definitely very high and very different than some of the other programming languages because it's something that's new and it's very needed in the cryptocurrency world. The average salary of a developer is $156,000 a year. But again, like I said, the drawback of it is the difficulty and the complexity of learning it. If you could overcome that, then yes, you do create a pretty big opportunity for yourself. Number two, Python. Python is one of my most favorite programming languages. That This was the programming language I used to start my learning journey. It's by far one of the easiest programming languages. And out of all of the ones I list today, it's definitely the easiest. So the learning curve for a complete beginner is very low and you can learn it. It reads like English. It's beautiful to look at. And then the opportunity for developers is great. The job market is great. The types of jobs that you would be doing as a Python developer would be along the lines of machine learning, data science, 
intelligence, analytics. You could do web development with it as well. Those are the types of routes that you would likely go if you went down the route of Python. And some of the biggest companies use Python, Google, Dropbox, Quora, Netflix, YouTube, Instagram, many other big companies use Python. And the average salary of a Python developer is $117,000, according to Indeed.com. And number one, JavaScript. Not to be confused with Java. This programming language is used pretty much on every single website on the planet. All web apps are built using JavaScript, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the big ones. So for example, if you're on YouTube and you click that like button, that functionality is added using JavaScript. If you are on Spotify's website and you click the play button, that's powered by JavaScript. The sound that you hear is powered by JavaScript. So pretty much everything that you use and interact with, you click on a website and a drop down menu pops up, that's JavaScript. The type of roles you could expect as a JavaScript developer are front end developer or a full stack developer. You know, imagine you're a developer at Netflix and then you're building out their mobile platform or you're building out their web platform where all of the tiles and beautiful visuals are showing up or the animations are showing up or when you click that button, you hear the, the doom, you know, the Netflix sound that plays. JavaScript is also one of the easiest programming languages to learn now. I think now more than before because of how much functional programming they're now integrating into JavaScript so is becoming really easy to read and write and becoming really high level, especially if you look at the new JavaScript ES6 syntax Basically, if you don't know what that means, that's okay. All that means is that it's now very easy to use. Average salary of a JavaScript developer, according to Indeed.com, is $115,000 per year. And one of the biggest reasons I recommend for you to learn it is the opportunity is unlimited pretty much in any field with JavaScript. It's the fastest growing and the biggest, most popular programming language with the biggest community in the world. So to break into the industry, whereas, for example, say Python with data science or machine learning, that might take you years. But with full stack development, you could get in within six months, nine months. And before people start bashing me on this video, which is so annoying, what I will say is in my opinion, because I've personally done this. I did it with Python. Within a couple of months, I learned web development and I was able to get a job as a Python web developer making six figures per year within my first three to six months of learning to code. But again, massive disclaimer for people start whining and crying in the comment section is I was coding for 12 to 15 hours per day. That's why I was able to get there that fast. Most people will not be able to do that. I was able to just work from home, be supported with my parents and then just code the whole time. But I think that if I were to do it again, Again, I would do it with JavaScript just because of the growth and the opportunity that exists with it now. Within three to six months of you going all in, it's very possible you could get your first job not making $100,000, but you might be making $60,000, $70,000 a year. There are people who get to 100, but again, those are some statistical anomalies. This is my experience after being in the industry for over eight years, teaching millions of students how to code, having helped thousands and thousands of students get jobs as developers. For example, take Ali who started working with us and within a couple of months from not knowing anything, she learned JavaScript and then went on to get her first job making $90,000 per year. Take Frank Ramos, who shot up his salary to $200,000 per year, or Devin Gray, who landed a job at PayPal. One of my students actually just recently ran into, I was at a conference at VidSummit, and he told me a crazy story of how he went from being completely homeless to getting a job at Google within four months after he started watching my coding tutorials and learning JavaScript. This is why I'm recommending you start with JavaScript because it's worked with so many students. And if you want to be able to learn it at even a faster pace, I do have a coaching program that you could sign up for. Link is in the description below. Get on a call with my team, apply for it. We'll give you a ton of value. And if it's a good fit, I'll let you know. And if it's not, I'll also let you know. Regardless, you'll leave with a ton of value. Even after that, if you decide it's not for you, I have hundreds of hours of free training material online that you are welcome to use and master JavaScript. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.